Whoa, failing. Look at it. It's still steering though. It's still steering. It's still steering. It's still steering. It's still steering. This is really loud and annoying though. I'm hitting the accelerator, but it's still steering. Okay, I'll take over. And yeah, right, looking good. And it gives up. What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. We're gonna be looking at autopilot uh, giving up on us. So ever since I got version 10, I've noticed that autopilot gives up a lot easier. So if autopilot gets into a situation that's really difficult for it, it doesn't know what to do, you'll get a big warning on the screen uh, with a red steering wheel showing your hands on the wheel, kind of telling you to take over. Um, so I have a few clips of that happening when I wasn't you know, looking for it. So just check those out. Let me play those clips for you really quick. Whoa, failing. Look at it, it's still steering though. It's still steering. It's still steering. It's still steering. It's still steering. This is really loud and annoying though. I'm hitting the accelerator, but it's still steering. Okay, I'll take over. Milesburg, one mile. <laughs> there it is. So take over immediately, and I put just a tiny bit of force on the wheel, um, and then it the message goes away. So. I have no idea. I've never seen that before. I did notice with the latest update that uh, autopilot seems to give up easier than it used to. Like if you're going into a roundabout or a situation it can't normally handle. It used to like never, almost never come out of autopilot, um, but it seems easier now. But today I want to go out and try to make this happen. So in the past, whenever I've put autopilot in these crazy situations, most notably on the dirt roads, right? On dirt roads, there's no lines, there's no curbs, there's really nothing to tell the car where to go. The car pretty much never gives up, even in that situation. The only time I saw it on the dirt roads is when like I would literally run out of road. All right, we'll give it a little freak out moment. <laughs> and then the car would, would flash that warning. That's, uh, thought I was gonna hit that car. <laughs> but now I'm seeing this all over the place. Like when I try to get the car to make a right turn or a left turn. Now, to be fair, the car can't normally handle those things, but it doesn't yell at me. It doesn't give up. It just keeps trying and I end up taking over before I get any type of warning. Um, so let's go out and try to get a few of these triggered. Uh, I think it's gonna be pretty easy. And I don't know why version 10 would be quitting like this. Um, it's pretty weird. I don't know if they just lowered the threshold where autopilot is comfortable attempting things uh, to get people to take over in hard situations. I don't know if they're seeing like the different YouTubers kind of pushing this stuff to the limits and they don't like it. It's kind of a mystery to me, but let's check it out and let me show you some examples of autopilot quitting on us in circumstances where it wouldn't have done so before. All right, so we're gonna wait for this left turn to come up and see if the car will quit or if I'll take over before it actually quits. We're on update 2019.32.2 still. Uh, it's pretty interesting. We haven't gotten an update in a while and that doesn't normally happen. And we've been on week 32. So in the builds, it's year 2019 and then week of the year 32. Um, you usually get a new week every few weeks and we've been on this week. I mean, we gotta be getting close to two months now. So it's pretty interesting. I wonder if, you know, there's huge changes coming in, an, in the next update. Um, 36.1 is around, but it got halted. People saw some bugs. All right, here's our green light. I'm gonna hit the, the throttle. So the car's gonna start to go. And nope, I ended up taking, so on that one I ended up taking over before the car quit on us. All right, we're coming up on this roundabout up here. I made a whole video about roundabouts and only once out of, I don't know how many times I did it, let's say 10, did the car uh, kind of give up rather than me just taking over. So let's get to this roundabout. Hopefully nobody's in our way. And yeah, so the car gave up and normally it doesn't give up in those situations. So that's pretty interesting. Let's hit another roundabout and see if it does it again. Here's an interesting thing that it'll do. Uh, it'll usually perfectly go through these little things. So you can see right there. Um, I mean, they're spaced nicely on the lines, but they're still pretty tight. All right, next roundabout is here. Uh, just in case you didn't know, for those warnings, you can slide them over. So reduce our speed as we approach.
And ooh, I had to take over. We actually got really close to that curb. Uh, I didn't I didn't mean to do that, but let's uh, try from a different angle. Okay, different angle here. Slowing down. Yep, and it gave up right away. I mean, it never used to do that. I have footage from that exact same roundabout. I'll put it in, I'll insert it here. Okay, we're still, oh. Where it, it doesn't give up. It's just like, is almost gonna, you know, run into the curb. So this actually is probably a good thing because it's obviously not ready to handle those situations um, and it's kind of figuring it out sooner. Now, for me, I don't like it so much because I like to, you know, push this to the limit and see if it'll complete the maneuver without me having to take over. And, and I've been trying to do some of these things lately and it's just like quitting on me. Again, Autopilot isn't advertised to do any of these things. All I'm saying is that in this most recent update, the behavior has changed in a way where it gives up a lot easier than it used to. And the really interesting thing is when I've had these give ups in the rain, which I did a whole video about autopilot in the rain before this update, and it, it didn't give up once through the whole thing. You know, the interesting thing is autopilot is still working. When that message comes up, it's not like autopilot has turned off and the car isn't doing anything. It's still steering. It's just that it's telling you to take over. And then once you put any amount of force on the wheel, it's not like in autopilot where you have to really tug it to take over. Um, once you put any force on the wheel, then it instantly quits and the message goes away and then you're driving again. All right, so going this angle again, nobody to interfere with us here and a give up just like that. I mean, it didn't even really struggle with the steering or anything. It just was like, I can't do this, forget it. Let me try to find a right or a left turn that I, I need a car in front of me that's turning right or left to follow with autopilot on. I'll see if it'll give up in that situation. I've seen it give up several times already on a left turn and once on a right turn. Um, and I know it's not supposed to do those, but, but the fact is it never did this before. And sometimes it would even make the right turns. Now in version 10, even though it's giving up easier, I have had it make right and left turns and it actually seems a little better at them when it completes them. So back through these things, this is always nerve wracking because they're so close, but I don't know if the car sees them or not, but uh, it's always able to go right through those. Oh, so here's something since we're testing, this is where it always puts me on the wrong side of the road. Let's see if that's fixed. Oh, look at that, it didn't do it. Now we have a lead car, but even in the past with a lead car, it's put me into the wrong lane. So green, I can't really see it. All right, looking good. And it gives up right there on the left turn. So strange that this has changed this way. Before it would just kind of do this with the steering wheel and then I'd just grab it and take over. Or, you know, sometimes it does complete the left turn. Um, but these days it's just, it's not about it. It doesn't want to be pushed to the limits anymore. Now, for the most part, this is just an interesting observation. This isn't gonna really affect your autopilot use day to day, but the only time it has really affected me, which has been annoying, is in the rain. Because like I was saying before, it never used to give up in the rain, like ever, ever. I haven't seen that give up message in a normal situation, but now when it's raining, and especially when there's a lot of mist being kicked up from semi trucks and stuff, it quits like a lot. Our road trip to North Carolina, it just kept turning off. And like I said, it's not like the car starts flying off the road. It still is steering. It's just yelling at you like, all right, take over now. Um, but it never did that before version 10. And it's a bit annoying when I used to be able to rely on autopilot in those situations. Now it kind of wants to give up. I would assume this will be changed back in a future update, but we'll have to see. All right, here we go. And yeah, and that one was me taking over technically um, I just had my hands on the wheel, but I had enough force to stop it. All right, it's a few hours later. We're about to get off the highway. Um, I'm gonna see if this right turn up here will trigger another quit. Um, so this is a right turn that sometimes the car will do all on its own, no problem. Uh, before we get there though, check out my sponsor, link in the description to the Model 3 Part Shop. You can use the code DIRTYTESLA to get 15% off anything site-wide. Okay, so very nice here. We have a couple of lead cars and I'm gonna hit the gas. So we go through this red light and 
whoa, yeah, almost into the curb. So that time it didn't it didn't do the right turn, uh, but I had to take over. So that's more normally like on those earlier left turns and earlier in the uh, roundabouts where it, it was just quitting on us. Normally I just kind of have to take over at the last second. Um, so that's more the behavior I'm used to. I'm gonna look for a couple of these. See, like, I don't know why it had any issue there. Like, nothing happened. Let me know in the comments down below if you're seeing this, if you drive a Tesla. Is it quitting on you more often? Or maybe most people don't push it <laughs> as hard as I do. Um, but I'd be interested in other people's experiences. Um, so I will talk to you down in the comments, and I will see you in the next video.